Even before the pandemic, nearly 8 million Americans were already digital nomads. The tech revolution had allowed them to leave the office behind. Many are entrepreneurial millennials, piecing together freelance gigs anywhere in the world, as long as there's Wi-Fi. Uh, when you live here, you don't take these too often, but they are some of the most convenient ways to get around a city. Eric Prince has logged thousands of miles working and traveling as a digital nomad. After a decade in the military, he didn't want the corporate life. He chose to work abroad, providing digital marketing and social media consulting services to many multinational corporations and hotel chains. Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel. Uh, on his YouTube channel, The Minority Nomad, he offers tips for others interested in this new way of making a living. Let me know what you think, what you need from me, and I'll help you any way that I can. So as usual, leave the world better than you found it. I'll see you in the next video. A digital nomad is somebody who uses technology to do their job remotely. It's closer to a remote worker. So the world of work is changing. There's no doubt about that. And digital nomads are, have always been leading the way in this conversation. The companies are now coming to us to ask and learn. We're now the global experts on remote work. Some 400 miles to the north is Mike Hulp, a newer and younger digital nomad. He's working in Chiang Mai, Thailand, one of the world's top digital nomad destinations with its low cost of living, wide range of co-working spaces, and easy access to high-speed Wi-Fi. Yes, uh, my name's Mike. I sent you a message online about Airbnb. I've been working for Airbnb remotely as an independent contractor for about two years now. I was a part of their referral program, so I was essentially signing up new hosts and then getting paid a commission for every new host who signed up. One of the really, really great things about being a digital nomad is that I don't have a boss. I can set my own hours. I have the flexibility. Location independence is also very important for me. The views from up here are breathtaking. How much? Yo, oh, use it. Oh. Oh. I don't even know what this is. Those digital nomads were ahead of the curve. They were using the, the opportunities created by a digital world to create a flexible workplace for them. The upside of the digital nomad life is the opportunity to keep seeing new places and trying new things. Part of what draws people is the idea of not being tied down and not being committed to any one thing. we're gonna see an explosion of remote workers after this virus is done. Because companies are gonna finally understand the power of allowing people to work remotely. Eric Prince has embraced his identity as a remote worker and spent years building up a global client base. Can I sit on the beach for the rest of my life and work from a laptop? I can, absolutely. But that came with almost a decade of work. So when we have a conversation about being a digital nomad or remote worker and having a work-life balance, it's not even a close comparison. Beautiful. The difference is, in the US, in that system, you have no true freedom. But in this world, I have all the freedom I create for myself.